fellow warriors and welcome back to modded out oblivion okay you're gonna notice that i am back in playwin and looky what's here now that would be uh, miro's scribe services the next step in the archaeology guild quest um I think I know what went wrong, and I'm hoping there's going to be less crashing because I downloaded a, a program that uh, auto-sorts mods and puts them in the proper order so they don't conflict with each other and everything. Because I knew it had to be mods conflicting with one another. That's always been my issue with modding games is I always download a ton of mods and install them, and you know I, I usually try to keep them in a decent order, but the thing is I never know what order to put them in. Well, I, this program automatically ordered them for me and disappeared when I loaded into the game. So, uh, obviously, it was the fact that this uh, mod was not loaded properly. So, now I can continue on with the Archaeology Guild quest. So, let's go ahead and do that. Wait, actually, I want to see something. I want to see if this made a difference. Uh, if you remember, my bow wasn't working properly. <gasps> my bow's back? <gasps> I've got my bow back. Oh, yeah. Okay. We are in business, my friends. We are in business. So, like I said, hopefully, though, that will, you know, fix any conflicts and I'll be able what? to... Stop hit. right there, citizen. You've entered a restricted area. Uh, technically, I actually spawned in right inside the door behind you, so, you know, you should have been yelling at me beforehand. Anyways, what happened here? It was the middle of the night when we first received reports of smoke coming from this direction. The guards were quickly mobilized, but by the time we arrived, Miro's office was in full blaze. I am under strict orders not to let anyone in until a full investigation is concluded. Let me in. I understand your curiosity, but I'm under strict orders. Let me in. I understand your <laughs> curiosity, but I'm uh, under strict orders. Great, so I've got a... Yes? Ugh. The thing is, I can barely see his face, so... Okay, he hates admire. That's obvious. Oh, he hates boast too. So he's fine with coerce and joke. So we will do blah, blah, blah. these first. That's a bit excessive. Don't. Sure, that's cute. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. That's a bit. Don't. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. You're full of it. I doubt you really mean. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. I doubt. No more. You're frightening me. Uh oh. That will get you something. Yeah, I get. <sighs> You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're. Yeah. No more. Don't be silly. That's yeah. not bad. I'm not supposed to, but... Alright, make it quick. Boy, it's been so long since I've done the whole, uh... Dis persuade disposition thing that... It, yeah. Technically, I was already in here. Could have just investigated while I was in here. But, you know. It is what it is. Oh, poor Miro. Ray Miro is dead, and her office is a pile of smoldering ash. An accident? The ruins of Cyrodiil is certainly a sufficient motive for arson. I had better search around for clues. Okay. I don't like the squishy, squishy sound, but... Whoa. 
Oh, hey, look at that. I can find nothing in Ray Miro's office but this charred transcript. I should inform Rathmer and Bravel of Miro's death. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. What I wanted. Um, actually, hold on. Uh, save real quick. I'm still going to go ahead and quick save because I'm not entirely sure I trust all of this. Of course, now that that's done, I might try the Better Cities mod again. Just because. Hello. Let's see if his. Yep. Oh, no. Uh oh. Well, he's there. No. Wait, what? Uh oh. He's supposed to be right here. You can see the outline of the foundation. Okay, well, uh, let's see if I can remember this. Let's see, Bravo, Rathmer's books. Boom! Why the glum face? Why do you sound weird? Uh, Rhea Miro is dead. Awesome? But who? I, I didn't say that. Who would. That damned book? I never said it was Some arson. Some of the collectors were impatient, but this is downright desperation. You're guilty. Thank you for returning to tell me this. I will handle Miro's affairs and alert the authorities. I'd best get going. Uh, you ain't going nowhere, dude. I never said it was arson. All I said is Rhea Miro is dead. Instantly, you followed up with arson? But who would do such a thing? You literally knew what happened to her. So you are the prime suspect. I'm tattling. Farewell, my dear sir. Yeah, whatever, criminal, murderer. And now, now it appears. Okay, so where am I going? What am I doing? What did it say? Uh, okay, Varus and show him the charge transcript. Varus, Varus, whatever. Whatever! Okay, uh, Archaeology Guild. Boy, it would be so nice if doing that auto order thing actually fixed. All the crashing issues, or at least most of them. Thing is, Oblivion has always crashed at some point. It, I don't need to see that. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's always had some sort of issues. Man, that music really makes me want to start Morrowind. <laughs> okay, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I remember what I was going to do. I was going to quick save. I love that music. Uh oh, the food's done. That's not good. Uh oh yeah. He, wait, which side was he on? Is he on this side? No. So if you keep hearing a beeping in the background, it's the timer on my oven telling me, Hey, food's Hello. done. Did you obtain the transcript? Yes, I did, Mr. Dracula. The scribe's office was burnt down? Unscrupulous collectors have always made life difficult for us. 
But this is beyond the pale. Were you able to find any clues as to who this arsonist might be? Yeah, pretty sure it's Rathmer. <laughs> In a pile of burning rubble? Hand it here. This is certainly the transcript of runes of Cyrodiil, but it's badly burned. I think I can still make something of it. Let's see if our mysterious glyph is referenced anywhere in here. I'm very curious. Okay, real quick, I'm going to stop the recording, go and get my food all set up, and then I shall return. Okay, I'm back! Um, man, I tell you what though, it sure is nice to actually stop the recording just to go and get food out instead of having it, you know, having to stop it because it crashed. Okay, reward. I have just the thing for you. Take this key to this black case A. This black case A. A? Hmm. I can't find any mention of it. Hmm. However, look at this curious reference. I wish I could really see it. Hello. One of the glyphs in this book is identical to a spire glyph I've catalogued. These numerals here must be the coordinates of where the glyph was witnessed. They warrant further exploration. Mm. Go speak to Aster Se. Work with him to track down this location. In the meantime, I will scour the transcript for further leads. With some time, and luck, I might make sense of this ancient language. I want to know who this is, or who, who these people are, these, this ancient civilization. So, okay, I wasn't paying attention to what he said. <laughs> okay, well, at least not that far. Uh, who is this? Man, that's the problem. Is I have no idea. Ooh, I have no idea who any of these people are, so I'm just kind of... Who are you again? Hi there. Oh, okay. How are you, Enforcer? Did you hear of Teve's news from the Spire? Excuse me, it's Teve and... By the way, he told me of that brilliant shard you found. Were you able to make anything of it? Um, actually, we need your help because the drunk guy, um, he's not sure what's going on. Sure, I'd be glad to help. And you say Varus got these coordinates out of an alien source? Yep. I have just the thing you to make sense alien of wrong. them. Here, this alien map of Cyrodiil was something Solan and I worked on years ago. Each sector on this map is indexed with two sets of numerals, like the ones Varus gave you. Allow me to translate this waypoint to your map, and then you'll be all set. You know, I'm wondering something. It, it sounds to me, uh, this is the the uh, per, the, this is the part of me that's fascinated with ancient history and all this stuff, and even if it's fictional ancient history. I'm wondering if, because it said he said he has an alien map, and they said one of uh, Verus said that one of the uh, one of the symbols matched uh, matched something that he cataloged. Oh, anyways, I wonder if the aliens. If you know, because it, it sounded to me like at the beginning of this that the, these spires predated the aliens and the Dwemer, so I wonder if the aliens were fascinated with them too and was cataloging all these things. This map is not actually alien. Solan and I drafted it up a while back. When Solan was exploring the alien ruins, he deciphered the aliens' mapping convention. The Aeliad had divided the topology of Cyrodiil into many sectors. Each sector was then referenced by a set of numerals, like you have here. This map was integral to Solan's work. Before we drafted it, finding an Aeliad ruin was purely a matter of luck. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, or you could just do like I do and just wander and stumble across them anyway. So, I mean, you know. Um, waypoint. Oh, that waypoint is in the vicinity of the Nibane Basin. Oh, goody. You should go there and scope it out. Scope it out, it man. It could be another spire. Starting to see a bit of a, a trend here. I mean, outside of the first spire, well, actually, they're all kind of in the southern part of Cyrodiil. And they're all a lot of a lot of this mod is congregated around the Nibbin Basin. Uh, what's Teven's news? Teev sends word that he Teven. found a stash of artifacts at the newfound spire, the very one you cleared out. He says he found an ancient weapon Ooh. and a scroll rod. I want the weapon. I can't wait until he gets back. I want to get a look at that ancient weapon. I want the ancient weapon. You guys can't have it. It's mine. I'm the enforcer. Good day. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, I want to see show map. Uh, did it actually mark it or? Oh wait, Nevin Basin is here. Is that it? No. Oh, pfft, that's my sky ship. Oops. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, wait. Isn't that like? Great. Wait. Oh, so we're going to Spire. Okay. Well, shoot. I'll just... Hold on. Let's save real quick. Just in case. And so far, it's been nice and stable, but, well... I'm not going to take any chances. Alright. What? Oh, poo! Oh, yeah. I forgot about display... Display... Display case A. Oh, well. I'll worry about it later. I'm going to go here. Man, I, I wish that I could get Black Marsh to look like that. Or Blackwood, I should say. Hey, what's up, Kieran? Let's go, boy. Ah, uh, Kieran. 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 What have I told you about getting stuck on things? All right, Karen, stay here. Why did I jump? <laughs> Pristine spire. Whoops, items. Oh no, I want that one. I just uh, that one didn't even do anything. I don't think. Oh, wait. Just as uh, C or say, uh, suspected the alien waypoint leads to another spire. I should explore the spire, clear out any dangerous creatures, and keep my eyes open for artifacts. Keep my eyes open for artifacts. Alright, let's see if this one goes smoother than the previous one. It's funny, it's a pristine spire. You know, the, the other two. Again, I repeat what I said when I stepped foot into the first one. That music does not fit Oblivion. Or any Elder Scrolls game. Actually, you guys wouldn't remember because I never kept that recording, so... Well, I guess I'm going to branch off to the right because I didn't realize it separated me from myself. Is it? I hear ghost. Whoa. Okay, this is new. I like the way they vomit. Blah! I, I, one thing I do think is really cool about this uh, whole spire thing is the fact that, you know, They've got like random, you know, pieces of alien type architecture, you know, underneath. Okay, can I? Okay. Oh, it's a Wraith Lord. Nice. Anyways, what do you got? Uh, 
Ooh, flawless diamond. I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that too. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, uh, that was not creepy in the least. Okay, so I've got to know what's going on in this place. Because something is not right here. That looks like a door. Oh, no, it doesn't. Seriously. What was that? I'm a little creeped out right now. Just saying. Oh, crap. Now what are you? Oh, never mind. You're a pushover. Because <laughs> I'm the man. Oh, this is freaking cool. Dude. Uh. These aren't traps, are they? I'm gonna say just in case. And then I'm gonna walk on them. Seriously, uh, I, I'm seriously giving some props to the mod authors on this. I mean, I know this mod's like super old at this point and everything, but I mean, literally, those guys did a tremendous job. This is unbelievable. I mean, the way they did their own custom textures and models, I mean, the, the doorways and everything are unique. This is so cool. And the funny thing is, the crystals, they actually match that, uh, that one mod that I, replacer mod that I put in that replaces, uh, some of the boulders in the Jural Mountains with, uh, yeah, whatever, with, uh, crystal spires and stuff. Dang, dude, seriously. This is fantastic. Well, here's my, uh... Here's my thumbnail for this video. Ow, Anakin! What the crap, dude? There's no reason for that! Why are you being mean to me? Come on, boy. Oh, yeah, thank you. Give me, give me my arrows back. Yeah, see, I like when you guys give me my arrows back. Makes me like you more. Yay, me. But look at that, though. I mean, look at the architecture here. Okay. That looks like very much like Alien architecture right there standard alien architecture and then these spires are something completely different so are the doorways it almost looks like the aliens came down here and started building their own structures in the caverns alongside the uh ooh, hello what no oh, uh take that uh alongside these even more ancient structures it's actually very fascinating I mean, I could be wrong. They could, they could have put those... Uh, the mod authors could have put those there just, you know, to make it look like it belonged with the... Uh, the spire parts and everything, or the pillars, but... Do I 
hear a ghosty? I think I hear a ray. No, that's not creepy at all. Okay, this is big. So, and you all are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to end this video here right in the middle of a dungeon, now, which I've never done before. I, I normally finish the dungeons, but I'm pretty sure that I've already gone probably like 34 minutes or so. So, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, we will pick up right at this spot in the next episode. So, thank you for joining me on this episode of Modded Out Oblivion. I am the Holy Warrior. God bless you all. <laughs>